Hey everybody, welcome back to Journey with Jackie. If you love a little bit of fashion, a little beauty, um, some real talk, real honest feedback based on each other's ages, you've definitely come to the right place. So here's the thing. Before I start with anything, I want to personally say I'm sorry for the fact that I've been sort of missing in action in regards to posting any live videos. It's been several weeks, as you guys have known from me doing my uh, my live videos, that um, I've sort of been working around the clock every day and haven't had any chance to sort of just sit down, do a taping, updates, and just sort of giving you guys updates on things, on some of the things that are happening with me. So my apologies. So I thought today I've carved out some time for myself. Unfortunately, it's for things like errands and dentists and stuff like that, but I'm thankful. So, but I carved up some time for us to sort of get a quick update with each other. I'm going to share with you some of the things that I bought, um, that uh, I bought for the fall already. And, um, but there are two things I want your honest, honest opinion. I'm going to start with the first one, but I'm not sure, but we're family. So, and we're taking this journey together about doing things outside of remember i'm going to preface by saying we remember we're doing stuff outside of the box outside of our comfort zone we're going to be experimenting we're going to try new things and we're all going to continue expanding um and experimenting i know i'm stalling okay so let's get started i'm going to tell you the first thing that i bought for the fall blue box is sitting right here okay Boots are like my passion and the things that I love to buy for the fall and the winter. I was not looking for these boots. These things are heavy, so that's why I'm holding it like this. I was not looking for this. I actually had bought something from Saks and I was doing a quick return. And these happened to be sitting on the counter because somebody, I guess, had returned them. So it was the only pair that was there because I just knew these were so popular that they were sold out just from what I've seen on like blogs and websites and stuff like that. I wasn't really looking, but I've seen them. And every time I see people wear them, you know, whether they're posting pictures, I just really think it looks so nice, especially how women have been styling them. But I never thought I would buy any. Just I love when I see people style them. Um, but anyway, I'm stalling again. Let me just show you what they are. Let me just get it over with. Pull the band-aid off. Okay, here we go. And I'm going to tell you my question mark. So I was able to get a hold of the really popular... Oh, these things are heavy. Monolith or Monolith combat boots. So, go figure. They were there. They fit. They were my size. I'm like, is this a sign? So, and once again, I was not looking for these. Okay, so here's the thing. Here's what I think I'm going to do. I think they are absolutely gorgeous. I think the leather on them are really good. But to save time, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to tape a video right when I get done this one with you I'm gonna tape a video of me trying these boots on with outfits that I really would wear them with so instead of me just trying them on now with outfit that I have on I'm gonna pick a few things I'm going to try them on how I would wear them and if you guys think I don't look too older for these boots let me know but I want your honest opinion and I know you know I know I always say like forget about what people say you know do what makes you happy and I'm still gonna gonna say that you know my theory is long as it fits long as it you know as I always say stuff isn't hanging out all over the place I'm like wear it if it puts a smile on your face wear it and I want us to continue to do that great right, you guys give me your honest opinion and we'll just take it from there so I'm not going to delay anymore talking about these boots because you will see it in my next video so go right to it after this one ends okay so that was the first purchase that I got now second thing I want to share with you is a couple of cute things that I got from TJ Maxx um, from the runway department. So if you have a TJ Maxx runway section, run to runway because they have some really nice designer things. Every state has one or two TJ Maxx's that have runway. And you'll know it from 
the purple signal, I'm sorry, the purple hanger symbol when you go to TJ Maxx's website, you click on the purple hanger runway and then it'll show you which locations in your area actually has a designer section. So, and then all the the, the items sold in the runway section actually has the, the purple ticket. So that also lets you know that it's from the runway section. Okay, so I got this really pretty navy blue turtleneck with this pretty cranberry red stripe going down the front and you know a little uh, tapered um around the waist area and it's like a cotton cashmere which is really nice and soft for me because my skin is so crazy can be itchy um with too much wool but i thought this was really nice once again i don't need anything i'm not really shopping it was like if i happen to come across something something that i don't have something that's fit in fitting in our or my pandemic lifestyle at the moment then fine i'll get it but if it's not i'm not really looking to buy stuff and just put it on the shelf and, the, and it just sits there until possibly one day um it's got to be something that i'm where i could wear right now as part of my lifestyle even with the pandemic so if it doesn't work out right now then i'm just not buying it so I thought this was really cute. Once again, it gave me a little bit of color, something that I don't have, and I'm trying not to buy stuff that I already have. So that is the other part of my shopping experiences. So this is something that I don't have, so that's why I got it, and it came from TJ Maxx, yes. Something else that I got from TJ Maxx, I looked up and found another makeup palette. You guys know I've, I've been really liking this whole, uh, that brand revolution, because I love the price. This eyeshadow palette was just $4, so it just gives me a little something to put on my eyelids without breaking the bank, and I thought the colors were really nice. So can't go wrong for that one, so that's something else I got. And then I, I did have to go to Sephora because I ran out a couple of things, and so while I was there, there was something that I wanted to try. I got a few things, but I went in looking for the specific body cream by Skin Fix. It's, I guess it's fairly a new line for Sephora and it came like in body creams and body scrubs. I was looking for the body scrub and the cream. They were out of the body scrub, so actually I just got the lotion. And the lotion has been pretty good. So because it's a little jar, which really for me wouldn't last very long, how I'm gonna make it last and go further is I've been taking, for the last several days, I've been taking like a little, I don't know, like quarter size, amount and then mixing it with my regular Kiehl's body lotion and then putting it on the key parts of my body like my knees and my elbows and things like that and my hands and I like it. it really doesn't have a fragrance to it which is what I like so that works out even better and so far it's been so good so you know I would definitely say check it out next time you're in Sephora look, look up that particular line a few more things that I got from Sephora is a um I've been using the same under eye color corrector for years and I just wanted to try a new one. So I actually got number three from Charlotte Tilbury. I haven't used it yet. What, what's, what's been your experience for those who have this color and if you have oily acne prone skin like me, what's been your experience so far with this particular color corrector? I haven't tried it yet, but um, so I'm hoping it doesn't like be too oily to break me out or anything, especially because you know how like certain gel formulas that like slide down your face. Supposedly this doesn't have the ingredients to do that, but um, let me know, let me know just to be on the safe side before I use it. We'll love your opinion. Something else I got from Sephora is everybody's been on a big thing with Selena Gomez, her new line. So I really didn't do a review on it while I was here because I know everybody is talking about it. But one thing I did buy once again, if I'm gonna buy anything, it's gotta be something that I really don't have already. I'm trying to force myself to get more into color with everything from my clothing to makeup and things like that i.e the my shadow so i'm i'm continually pushing myself outside of my comfort zone outside of my boundaries a little bit and i wanted if i figured i was going to buy a new lip color i wanted something with a little color and a little bit of matteness to it because if when i take off the mask at least i'll have some type of hue of color so i actually right before the video started i actually put this on just so you guys could see it and it's a liquid lipstick and here's what it looks like so it's like um 
it's like a burnt orange color and on the camera it's coming up a little bit more red than it really is but it's a pretty burnt orange color is what i would say and i want to say the color is called it's called lux but i'll link it below so but so far i think let me look in the mirror real fast i think because i did have on a little lip balm first before i put it in put it before i put it on so it's not like too drying the i said i guess between the lip balm that i had on and putting this on top it's holding the color pretty good it's not drying out my lip too much and i've had it on now for probably like about a half an hour because i put it on literally right before we got started but i think the color is pretty good and i obviously kept my makeup super neutral with you know just like my bronzer on my lids and bronzer on the cheek with a little YSO orange cheek color. I did the under eye color again by um, Pat McGrath that uh, our girl Naomi's been doing. So I've been sticking to that and with this particular lip color. So, um, but anyway, I think it's pretty good. I don't know what you guys think. I would love your opinion. You like it? Speaking of color, no color. The last thing I bought, I actually got this on Overstock. Somebody else had it, I forgot. And it sold out, I believe on NAR, so I had to get it from overstock.com. The color is called Trap, tra oh no, 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 uh, Zambezi, Zambezi. Zambezi, I'll link it below. But yes, it's a neutral color, but it's like a hint of, yeah, that's good. It's like a hint of an orange, like, pumpkin-y color so once again it's like a very similar to this so if i did want to put a little lip gloss on top of this i thought this would be a nice complementary color to these two guys so that's my thinking anyway so that is my beauty items that i got so far now speaking of comfort level and all that kind of good stuff something else i got i treated myself to a really nice pajama set and i actually got it from actually from my favorite furniture store which is restoration of hardware and you can buy this online but it is a pretty cotton silk is it silk too um, no i'm sorry cashmere so it's a cotton cashmere blend and i got the off-white color with just like the regular pant leg at the bottom and a drawstring and then the top is a button up top little pocket and nice cool um inverted pleat in the back and i thought this was really cute especially you know it's going to be getting darker here soon earlier than the part of the day and you know you're just getting more relaxed and more comfortable earlier than norm because of just getting dark well i.e me anyway which i love actually so when we do the the the, the changing of the times i actually do like it because it forces me to sort of relax even earlier which is what i like so that's why i treated myself to the pajama set and okay so another i have two more pieces of clothing i want to share with you one of our favorite stores is h and m i was walking by and saw this really nice tunic sweater that i thought was really cool and let me see oh yeah the color you can see is perfect it's like a pretty oatmeal color really soft and neutral so it doesn't matter if you're still want to wear it like over white jeans or regular jeans or leggings or something like that it's really nice and long um i thought the the knit was going to be too chunky for me around my collar but when i tried it on it actually looked better on than it did i thought hanging on the the hanger and then it has two little slits on the side i actually purchased it in a size large so if you're ordering it online if that helps you decide what size you want i will link it below and it was just here's the tag it was just 29 and I'll try it on now. So as you can see, I have it on with like a pair of regular uh, jean crop tight jeans, I guess you would say, with uh, some booties. And then I now have it on with a pair of standard leather leggings. I thought I'm just going to try it on realistically on what I will wear this with so you can see what you know if it will help you decide if you want to buy this online or not. And I thought it was perfect just wearing it with a thin t-shirt long sleeve under t-shirt underneath would be perfect for this transitional weather right now so it's like a perfect transitional sweater i thought um if you're interested so that is that one now here is my other questionable item that i want your opinion about i got 
I got these jeans from Zara. Yes, the trend. Can't believe it is back and that is wide leg jeans. So I thought, okay, if I'm gonna buy some wide leg jeans, I'm going to buy them in all of the things that are, I like about wearing jeans. First of all, they came in the buttons down the front, which is what I love. I just think it just makes a jean even look more high end, even if it's not like you, you know, the way they do these buttons. I just absolutely love that look versus my always, my first preference is always this look versus a zipper. The other reason why I like these is they're really nice and thick. Although they're wide leg at the bottom, they're really thick. And the other thing is, and, all, and I bought these online, so I didn't even see these in a store. So it really worked out, lucked out when I got these in the mail. And then speaking all that, they're, they're, they're wide leg, you know, they're thick, but they're really like a soft jean. So they're going to lay really nice, like over your boot, you know, especially if your boot is, you know, sticking out a little longer than your jeans. It's going to look so nice and like, you know, swing when you're walking. Um, they are high waisted, so I will. So you're like, okay, so what you sing all the stuff that you like about the jeans? Like, what's what's the problem? Here is the thing: I have been down this road before, wearing wide leg pants and all that stuff, and the longer shoes and boots and all that kind of sticking out. And I tried these on. I love everything about how they fit, but I thought, do I feel like going down this trend again? Of you know now requires a certain type of boot and a type of shoe in my opinion when you're wearing wide legs you just can't wear any type of shoe and i thought okay i i don't know i i, I guess that's my question mark the good thing is they were only 40 something dollars so if you're going to do it these are definitely the pair of jeans that i recommend to take that leap and do the trend with but i guess i just don't know if i feel like i'm in the mood to do that like once again based on my lifestyle based on a pandemic thing things that don't things that are going on and am i really going to just go in the closet and just pick these up without like making it into a thing of trying to create a look around wearing these jeans and I hate wasting money. I hate wasting $5. So if it's not something that I'm going to use or wear that I really don't like, it goes back. I, it doesn't matter the cost for me. So that's my question. What do you guys think? What are you doing? Are you taping, Are you taking this leap with the wide leg jeans? How are you doing it? Are you doing it? Are you just going to wear the, the, the boots and stuff that you already have? Or have you found yourself that you've had to go out and buy different boots? boots and jeans or shoes to wear with these wide legs so that's kind of where I'm stuck but I want your opinion yeah okay so that's that was my other one okay so last thing I bought that I'm pretty excited about once again that I got online and I got it for a really good price and that is this beautiful fedora hat and I got it from the brand is called Brixton and I think I got this also from like Overstock, which is so cool. Typically, it's hard for me to find the right hats like this. Sometimes like the brim is too small. The brim is too big. Sometimes even for expensive uh, hats like this, like the, the hat is too hard. Like there's no flexibility and I just don't like it. So this is my, this is my second style hat and i love the color so i was so excited okay here's the other thing it was less than 50 dollars. so i'm going to find the information below and i'm going to link it and i'm still hoping it's available so you guys if you want to order and i did get i got mine in a size large if that helps you too so i'm going to try this on for you too and let you know see what you think now i got it now for me 
this is how I would wear my hat. I know, I know some people like to wear it like that, but you know, if my hair was different or my hair was like much longer than maybe so, but I probably would wear it just like this, you know, with a, a ponytail in the back or something like that or off to the side, or even if I add a ponytail and make it longer, uh, I'm, I, I'm still thinking I would probably wear it like this. And I like the color, like it was like perfect neutral color no matter what I'm wearing. I thought it was like a cute hat and for the trend i'm not breaking the bank during this time which is what i love so yeah that's it so that is what's made the cut so far i.e you'll let me know if i'm keeping those prada boots but you gotta go to the next video right now let me know what you think thank you guys for taking the journey with me i appreciate it and if you haven't subscribed make sure you do it because remember 6 30 every wednesday you're going to be following me on my say what wednesdays as we sort of like check in with each other with different topics that i'm posting every single wednesday that we're just going to be talking about for like 15 20 minutes but i need you to have that conversation with all of us so anyway thank you guys so much i love you and hit the next video right now see you soon bye What I'm wearing is a Zara short sleeve tank top. I am wearing a my month leather jeans with drawstring in the waist with a nice leather belt, leather shorts. I am wearing a old Gap jean jacket and I am wearing my Dolce & Gabbana suede booties that I got last year that I no, I'm sorry. I am wearing Balenciaga, duh, name on the back. Balenciaga suede little booties that I got last year at SEC. So that is my outfit of the day.